Um, made some adjustments. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they work out well. And hopefully they're not getting robbed out. <laughs> but anything's possible right now. So, they're, I moved uh, the packed nukes into a little bit bigger uh, digs here. So these all have my new mated queens in them. So they're working on it. A little small entrance on that one. But moved all these yesterday. And so they are going crazy. It is warmer today than it's been. Some of these colonies are starting to work, but you can see they don't have sun all the way on this side yet, but some of the ones do. I need to move, uh, those nukes need to go into, hey, need to go into 10 framers there. Uh, that nuke on the end needs a 10 framer. That nuke in the middle needs a 10 framer. Uh, that one right there needs a 10 framer. All the nuke boxes need to be moved to 10 frames. These I already did. So it's a 10 frame box, but it's only got eight frames in it. I'm sorry, nine frames in a feeder. So they are, uh, which could be a, could be a rob out situation. I think they're just active, to be honest with you, because they're pulling in pollen and stuff too. So, hopefully that's all we got going on here. Still got nukes. Uh, yeah, it is. I still got all these nukes over here too, right? <laughs> Those two are empty because someone brought uh, Jester nukes, and so, uh, Gave them a little discount, and I kept my boxes. But all these have bees in them. So, they are going pretty well. Uh, really, the feed bottles are pretty much empty, other than, like, that one on... No, that one's empty, too. Yeah, they're pretty much empty right now, all these feed bottles. So, these right here, doing okay. Everybody's doing good. These right here, though... I might need to throw some open feed back there. Uh, yesterday, I was walking with some drawn comb and tripped and fell. And, uh, and went ahead, it broke out of the frame. The whole thing did. So I just dropped it in the solar melter. Melt that wax down best I can. But... Yes, yeah, kind of kind of a busy day over here. Still got a bunch bunch of boxes still working on those. Started painting my lids over here. My new lids. I still got some to paint, but my new, new lids right here. Tell you what. So I've been using this the uh, I'm, the Krylon one's not as good, guys. This is a much better paint. So if you get a chance to paint something, use this. Uh, use the Rust-Oleum brand instead of the Krylon. The Krylon one doesn't come out as nice, in my opinion. You know, who am I? Uh, but... It does pretty good. All the all the paint that I've used, I mean the yellow, I can still see the grain through the paint, and I've just about used a whole can on that. So that's had two coats on it. I mean I can still see some grain, but I can't see like the dark color uh, coming through those. So I just sprayed them, or I would flip them over for you. But that's the uh, that's. The Krylon one. And y'all wonder why I have buckets laying around everywhere. That's exactly why. Right there. <laughs> That's why I've got all those buckets. So when I throw something on it to paint it, 
it's easy to paint all the way around and then let it dry and then flip it over and do the other side right so that's much easier cat litter buckets here's a cat i got another cat litter bucket right here flip that over and paint something on it Ugh. I think people see, see me saying, oh, Bob's live. And then they're like, let's call him. Let's call Bob because he's live on the video right now. So with these, I'll paint this one blue too. So with those right there, the 2X Rust-Oleum, a pain in the ear. That's what it is, right? And it's really nothing that they want. And uh, just give it a nice little little coat. You know, it does have some rough wood on it, so sometimes it will soak it in, which is fine. It's what we want. And I kind of, on the end grains, I kind of try to put it on thick, to be honest with you, just so it gets a little coating on it. I just put a nice little coat on and then put a couple coats on it actually after it dries just to seal up the pores. And it dries pretty quick out here. Then I go the other way and then I try when I do it the other direction, that way I'm hitting the grain from all the different directions, guys. Not that I need to sh share painting with any of you guys, but uh, it's just a, just this Rust-Oleum definitely does, I'm, the Rust-Oleum does better. The uh, Fusion, not so good on this but the uh, rust-oleum you see i only have two rust-oleum colors that blue and that pink and they're the only two that in my opinion look pretty good hey man it's easier for me to paint it like this and walk off <laughs> actually the best way to do it is actually to roll primer on and let the primer dry then come back and spray paint it you get much further use out of a can of spray paint than doing it like this what i'm doing right now but uh you know they look pretty good when you put them out there making half happy little covers that's right so um let's see let me give you that but you know mated queen lang mated queen uh i know that says no queen that's not true that's a mated queen, laying queen, mated laying queen, mated laying queen, mated laying queen. First one, I think it's got queen cell. Uh, swarm, swarms, uh, that's the swarm box. I went ahead and put it in the Vivor colony because it was right here. Uh, and that's the other swarm colony right there. Um, but that's why I went ahead and moved them up. She's actually bringing in, they're bringing in pollen right there. But all those queens in those boxes are laying. So I've got to, I'm going to have to do something with those. Those guys relatively quickly. Um, and yeah, we're just, uh, the bees are, are living, living the life, man. Let me see. Let me get a bucket. I need to go ahead and mix up some syrup. Uh. 
my apis is not out here, but I mean, I'll give them, I'll give them 10 gallon or so of feed and, uh, and they'll love that. I got someone coming to get a nuke today. Uh, so that's good. That's an empty bucket. Uh, to find a bucket of syrup back here. Uh, here's one. Oh, wow, that one's really full. Uh, hold on, guys. Uh. Sorry. Let's see this. So, <laughs> it's got everything except for apis in it right now. So we're just gonna give them regular syrup today. <sighs> See if I can get it open. Yeah. Oh, with my, just my fingers. Look at that. They filled that thing right to the top. Right to the top of syrup. Holy cow. All right, well, we're gonna make a mess. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> that, my friends, is what happens. All right, hold on. Ugh. Wow, is that full? You know what? I think I need another bucket. I'm gonna make uh, 15 gallons. Uh, 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 uh. 15 gallons of slurp. Here, I gotta dump you out. Yeah, I wanna empty that out. Surefire way to get the bees. Get your bees from getting smashed. So, oh, my wife's watching. I got to give her a shout out. So my wife, isn't it pretty? She she raked it up. So she did pretty good. I have to give her some props. So I'm just going to. Add some syrup out of these two buckets into the third bucket. Try to make them about the same. There you go. 15 gallon is what we're gonna make. 15 gallon. My high pressure mixer. It won't exactly be 15 gallons, it'll be a little bit less. Probably about 12. Let's go add some syrup. I'm gonna do this one bucket at a time because I got y'all in my hands. There's one. I might can grab both of these other ones. Ladies, you gotta go to the restaurant if you want to eat today. <laughs> All right. This will not take them long.
Nice mix job there. And we're going to start floating stuff. Now hopefully I don't grab a handful of bees over here that was in there. Guaranteed this is going to be Here they come. Here they're going to come. All right, they're going to they're going to come get it. So I did find out my neighbor from over there that I was talking about was mowing and everything. They are putting a mobile home over there. So in the next few months, there'll be a mobile home going in. And uh, all of these, well, what am I doing? All right, one more time. Yep. So all those have mated queens in them, my mated queens from this year. So I'm hoping they really take off. And uh, we're gonna get these hive stands back full and the way they need to be really soon because I am about three the other ten free all right now but at any rate guys sorry to drag you through uh, my boring filling up the bee stuff I just thought I would show you what's going on I still have Yep, I still have to wax these box frames. I haven't done that yet. So these need waxing. Um, got a bunch of stuff that needs to be done still, and I just don't have time. So, look, that's that sal saliva, saliva, sativa, sal whatever, saliva, <laughs> salvia, whatever you want to call it, growing. Uh, I per I did this on purpose, really, um, over here. I'm kind of letting that grow in there. I mowed over here to walk through, but letting this kind of grow. So hopefully some, uh, and we're getting the, uh, the salvia, salvia growing. We got these little yellow flowers starting to grow. So kind of trying to let this just grow up over here for now after the honey flow then we'll chop it down probably but right now no that's the goal all right so anyway guys the um remember tomorrow night's the giveaway over on lee's channel for the extractor um gonna do that tomorrow so make sure you're there uh, maybe I'll, uh, be live tonight. Not sure yet, but at any rate, appreciate you guys watching and, uh, we'll talk to you guys again soon. Later.